hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to use web browser control in your visual basic windows form application using this web browser control you can open any website or URL in your windows form which is this form so let's get started I'm going to take a button from here and I will take a text box to enter the URL of any website and I'm going to take a web browser control which you can find here and I will resize it a little and if you want you can dock or anchor this web browser by going to the property called anchor and just anchor it to the right side and bottom and I will change the text of this button as navigate now I will just select this navigate button and double click it and in here I will write the code to navigate some website so here I will write web browser 1 which is the name of my web browser dot navigate and in the bracket we will pass the URL which we are going to enter in the text box so we will write text box one dot text okay now when I run this program In this text box, I can enter any URL, for example, www.google.com. And when I press this navigate button, it will open google.com in your web browser control. You can see here. Now, just to make uh, this web browser a little bit advanced we can add some more functionality to the web, web browser for example we want to add the functionality for going forward and going back and refresh your uh, website then just add some more buttons here and I'll just resize it and I'll take one, two, and three buttons. And this button, I will change the text of this button as go forward. And the other button, I will change the text as go back and this button I will change the text as refresh okay now I will just select my go forward button and in here I will write web browser one dot go forward and in the same way I will click this go back button and I will write web browser one dot go back and in the refresh button double click it just and just write web browser one dot refresh okay now when I run the program once again I'm going to write www.google.com and I will say navigate and it will open Google in my web browser control and for example I'm searching for YouTube here so it will go here and I will just open YouTube from here now I want to go back so I will click this go back button 
it will go to the previous URL I have navigated once again I can go back and in the same way I can go forward and I can go forward right and if I want to refresh my page I can just refresh and my page will be refreshed one thing you will notice here is in this text box your URL is not changing when you are going back it's always remain www.google.com and it's not changing according to our navigation of the website when we go back or when we go forward this we can fix easily by selecting your web browser and going to the this events button here this little button for events click this and search for the property called navigated and double click here and we reach to the property called web browser navigated right and in here just write text box one dot text which is our text box uh, name and uh, is equal to web browser one dot url dot to string okay so what this line will do here it will just whatever you are you url you are navigating it will just print it or print uh, just copy it to your text box once again we are going to run the program once again we will open www google.com and we will navigate and once again we are going to search for YouTube for example and go to the YouTube and if you can see here the URL is constantly changing according to our navigation so when we go back it goes back to the Google search when we go back it will go once again to the Google search so the URL is changing according to the navigation so in this way you can make a simple web browser uh, in your Visual Basic Windows form application I hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now